it's very critical that you close the whirl pack correctly. It seems like a really simple thing that you can do, but there would be about 30 different ways of closing a whirl pack, and only one of them is correct. The whirl pack is sealed by a wire tab that sticks out on each side, holding in place a series of folds that make the plastic bag fold together. So when you have your sample and your label and your preservative, propylene glycol, in there, you then take it and you put it on the side of a table and move the sample up the, the table, keeping a little bit of liquid in until you reach the top. Then you fold, while holding it there, you fold over the first time and make a flat fold behind the yellow band. Now if you look at this, there's a folded over bag with zero air in there. This is important because liquids do not expand over time as you go up and down in elevation, but air does, and that will cause the bag to, to break. Then take that and put it onto the flat table and roll one flat time at a time. Now I'm saying rolling, but you're not making a round area. You're making a flat area. And you just roll that up all the way. And then you can either pull it tight this way. Some people do it by using their thumbs to pull. But the secret is this is very tight and it's flat. You then take the yellow tabs on either side and you fold it over once here and here. Many people think they need to fold it more than once or they need to tie it together. If it's sealed properly and it's folded over once, this is a completely secure bag. That is how you close the Whirl Pack before you put it in the Ziploc bag with the absorbent pad and mail it back to us.